been so long You've been so tough You've kept it up Cheers. You've kept me up Been standing tall Keeping strong And I'm doing well I'm eating more Hi everyone, my name is Mary and I wanted to do a couple days uh, in my life vlog, rating vlog, that kind of thing. So today is Monday, it's uh, lunchtime and I wanted to talk about the few books that I've been reading as well as the books that I recently finished. So I updated my reading journal this morning, I wanted to show you guys. So I added Honey and Spice, which I just finished, and um, Wedding Crash, The Wedding Crasher I finished, and then I updated my January Read Spread. So this weekend I finished Honey and Spice by Bolu Babalola, and I gave it a 3.5 stars, I think. Um, it took me a while to get into this book. I, I think about like 40% of the book. I read it on my Kobo. And then um, it started getting good. I started uh, liking Kiki a lot more. I really enjoyed Malachi's character and I think they worked well together. It just, it wasn't hitting for me the same way it does in other books. And I felt like some spots of the book dragged on and then other parts were like so fast. But um, the premise of the book and the ending really reminded me of like a 2000s rom-com. So I liked that. Like it gave me that kind of same feeling that um, those movies give me. Yeah, I think overall a really enjoyable read, just not like a new favorite. So I gave it three and a half stars. And I think I also gave The Wedding Crasher by Mia Sosa three, star three and a half stars. So not the... No new favorites in the past like two weeks. As you guys know, I started reading War and Peace and I am about 90 pages in War and Peace. I am behind, but that's okay. Um, I'm still reading it practically every day, even if it's like five pages. So I'm slowly um, chipping away at it and I'm not letting like the fact that I'm behind on the reading schedule affect me because I don't want to rush this book. So I'm really enjoying it so far. I switched over to the Oxford Classics Edition um, just because it's a little bit easier to read. It took me a while to kind of get into the different translation, but I think I'm enjoying this more. And then last night I started A Farewell to Arms. Um, I have about like a week left of January where I have to finish this. I'm about 25 pages in and I'm really enjoying it so far. It took me a while to get into Ernest Hemingway's writing just because he uses very long run-on sentences um, but about like three four pages in got used to it and I'm enjoying it. It's very easy to read and um, yeah so we'll see how this goes. I'm I didn't even read the synopsis I just start, dove right into it and then when I was done, like, I think I'm on chapter four, when I was up to that point and I was ready to go to bed, I quickly glanced at the synopsis just to see where the story is heading. So I'm excited. And I just, this cover, beautiful. This one too. So pretty. And last night, um, me and my boyfriend went to go watch A Man Called Otto. Um, which is based on the book A Man Called Uwe by Frederick Bachman, and so that was fun. Um, I liked it. I didn't think it was as good as the book, but it was still a great movie. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I would suggest it, especially if you've read the book, to go and watch the movie. And tonight, me and my best friend are going thrifting, so I wrote down a list of books that I am allowed to buy if <laughs> I see them there. We're going tonight because Talise is having a 50% off all department sale, so I'm really excited. We'll see. I hope we get some staples. I have a list of clothing that I'm allowed to buy if I find it, and a list of books. 
because I can get way out of hand at the thrift store. So I gotta like put some restrictions up or else I'm leaving with way too many things and I don't have a lot of space to store all those things. If I get anything, I will definitely show you guys. And that's my day so far and that was my weekend. So now um, I'm gonna go cook some food for lunch and probably continue reading A Farewell to Arms, and then, yeah, I will catch you guys the next time I have an update on any books, or probably when we go thrifting. And though you might think that you're fine, you need someone, and though Wednesday. Oh my gosh. So it's Wednesday uh, morning and I wanted to, I didn't really vlog much yesterday because it was just a really busy day, but I did go for a walk yesterday and I visited like the little libraries in my area and I got a couple more books. So I wanted to do basically a mini book haul. And I mean, it's not that many but of the books that I got at the thrift store and the books that I found in the little libraries near me. On Monday, uh, I went to Tilly's because they were having a 50% off uh, every department sale. So it was really good. But their book selection, they had like two aisles of books and like maybe one and a half was fiction and then the other stuff was like cookbooks and things that I wasn't really looking for. So it was kind of upsetting, but I still found some gems. So I'm excited. So the first one I have here is the Kite Runner. And I got this one for $2. We have a copy of Kite Runner, but my boyfriend is borrowing it from a friend. So I wanted to get my own copy because I do want to read this this year. It is basically like an untouched copy. I don't even know if it was red. I mean like some of the pages at the end look like there's like water damage but nothing crazy and the spine is not even cracked so I don't even think this was red to be honest but I'm really excited to read The Kite Runner. It's been on my TBR for years and I've just never done it so I was very excited to see that. And I found Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen so this is an exciting find. This one I also got for $2. Uh, Northanger Abbey is a part of the Game of Tomes book club this year. So I was looking for a copy to have um, and I was excited to find it here. Uh, I mean, it doesn't match any other book copy like classic I own, but that's okay. If I do end up really enjoying this book, I'm sure I will buy it in other collectible editions, but yeah very very excited for that one as well and the last one i got at Talese was song of solomon by tony morrison this uh was not i made like a list of books that i was going to look for and i could buy um if i found them at the thrift store this was not a part of the book list but i've been wanting to collect uh, tony morrison's books so i was very excited to find song of solomon this one i got for 150 we own Beloved, but I don't think, I think that's the only Toni Morrison that we actually have. 
Okay, then the three books that I found in um, the little libraries near me, I think I actually found all of these in one. I actually saw two copies of this book, so Tin Man by Sarah Winman. This looks like it was unread. The other copy looked like it was a little bit more beat up, but I took a look at this. The cover is what kind of drew me in, and I took a look at it on Goodreads, and a lot of people had very good reviews. This is a good uh, preface. This is almost a love story, but it's not as simple as that. Anyway, it seemed pretty interesting, and a lot of um, reviews said it was very heartbreaking, so always down for a heartbreak. The next book I found is Room by Emma Donahue, and this copy is not, is pretty beat up, I do have to say, but I have always wanted to read Room. I don't really remember the movie that much, and I know that everyone says the book is fantastic um, so I decided to pick it up even though it's the movie cover that's fine and then the last book that I found this one was also just the cover drew me in right away beautiful so it's gingerbread by uh, Helen Oyemi 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 I don't know how to say that sorry if I mispronounced it but um, I think this is more like a lit fiction type book. I read the synopsis and family drama, I believe, friendship. Um, I was really, really drawn to the cover. I just kept looking at it. I'm like, I can't leave without this cover, to be honest. But I hope this book is good. And um, there were some pretty good reviews on Goodreads when I looked up this book as well. So those are my six books I got. Three free, three I paid for, but I paid less than I would for one copy of a book. Yay! It's exciting! Now I just have to read them. <laughs> I just don't know how to stop buying. I wanted to give an update for A Farewell to Arms. So I haven't been able to read as much as I want to, sadly. But I got to page 42, so the war hasn't, like, gotten really bad yet. You can see it's heading in that direction. Um, the relationship between um, Mr. Henry and Miss Barkley, their relationship is, <laughs> it's kind of funny like the um the scene that they were in i guess maybe this is kind of maybe spoilery i don't really think so but um she's like do you love me and he's like yeah i love you and then like in his head he's like i don't love her at all <laughs> it's such a like weird relationship that they got going on but um, it had me giggling. And there was like one passage. So this passage on page 38, <clears throat> I wrote on the margin, this felt like a teenager's rant of their crush. And that's exactly what it felt like. It was like, you know, when you like have your first crush and you like just think about and fantasize about your future together and you're like, oh, we're getting married this day. We're we're driving this car we have this many kids like that's like <laughs> that's what the rant sounded like it was really funny but um yeah i'm really really enjoying this one so far that's my little quick update of a farewell to arms hopefully tonight i'll be able to uh read a bit more i'm going to make this soup that my friend valentina gave me the recipe for it's like a I guess you can say Colombian since she's Colombian, but it's a like lentil and sausage stew, but I just add a lot more liquid to make it more of a soupy consistency. We're supposed to have a huge snowstorm today, so I thought soup was the ideal meal. I was supposed to go for pho tonight, but don't think I want to drive in 15 centimeters of snow. <laughs> so we'll see. But in the meantime, I'm going to have soup for lunch. Also woke up with like a sore throat, so I want to deal with this situation. So I'm going to make some of this tea. 
It's the, the Guardian Tea by Organic Olivia. I love this tea and I love it whenever I feel under the weather. It has ginger, orange peel, rosemary, cinnamon, and clove in it. And I used to make like my own version at home with like all these ingredients. But I bought this um, to have. So we're gonna make that, make the soup. And I'm watching Carolyn's vlog of A Farewell to Arms. It's spoiler free, thank God, because <laughs> I haven't finished it yet, but it's making me want to read it like right away. So I think like I'm wearing this sweater in every clip. <laughs> it's just like my home sweater. I wear it like all day, every day. this is not the ending that I expected this vlog to have when I first started it. Um, it's Thursday right now and yesterday I was feeling like a little tickle in my throat and I thought it was just because of dry air in the winter time and it just progressed and then I woke up with a really really stuffy nose, sore throat still there, and a little bit of like sinus congestion. So I think I'm going to end off the vlog here before <laughs> I get more congested and you can't understand me properly so I wanted to give my final rating update. Last night I was continuing A Farewell to Arms. I got to page 101 so I am past book one. I think I've started book two. Yes, I've started book two. Oh my gosh, I am loving this book so much. I think it's hilarious. Hemingway's writing is so easy to read yet so beautiful and I just think the characters in this book are, are so funny and even though there is tragedy that is happening there is still humor and there is still hopefulness and love all intertwined and I think it's just a very beautiful story. Um, I'm seeing more people's reviews and how the ending is heartbreaking and oh boy I don't know where it's going so we'll see what happens but for now I am loving this book and I couldn't put it down yesterday I was so sick <laughs> trying to go to bed couldn't fall asleep I read like I think 60 pages yeah I read 60 pages yesterday so this has been going very very good and then I started, I think a couple of days ago, but I haven't talked about it yet. I started The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Um, this is a part of a TBR that I'm keeping a secret for now. <laughs> you guys will probably find out within the next month what um, the secret project is for. And I have been reading this and then listening to the audiobook at the same time. Let me bring up Libby. I want to see how far I've gotten in the audiobook. Okay, so I'm 22% in the book. I think that's, yeah, chapter 8. So let's see how far that is in the book. Part 2. Okay, yeah, so part 2, um, chapter 8, I think near the end of chapter 8. Um, I don't have many thoughts about this book so far. I think it's decently intriguing. Um, I don't know where it's going, so that's good because it is a mystery and I guess a murder mystery and usually I'm pretty um, spot on with the twists and, and knowing what's about to happen. So right now I don't really have any thoughts about it. Could be my like sinus brain that um, isn't working properly, but I have been enjoying the audiobook and 
So we'll see how this ends up going. I haven't picked up much of War and Peace over the past few days. I've just been focusing on these two books and I have been enjoying my time. So yeah, it's been an eventful week. Uh, read quite a few different books, finished, I think my last book I finished was Honey and Spice on Sunday. So I haven't finished many books this week, but I have been enjoying the limited reading time that I have had this week. I'm probably going to now relax and try to heal myself and read some more. It's almost the end of January, so I'm going to round up all my January reads and probably share with you guys what I read in January in my next video. Thank you guys for spending the week with me. I hope next week will be even better. And let me know if you guys want to see anything in any upcoming videos. Have a great night and I will see you next week. Happy reading! Bye! <laughs>